Um, I feel like my bun might be a bit too much today. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know when the bun looks good and then the bun just looks like, oh, honey, you're a pineapple. Oh, well, who cares, Angel? It's Poundland Day. Can I get a whoop whoop? Hello, beautiful angels. Welcome back to another video. <sighs> Listen, today's gonna be one of you guys' faves, okay? I'm bringing it to you. We're going to Poundland, babe. That's our trip out today. You know why? I've just been putting off going to Poundland for a while. When's the last time I did a Poundland haul? Can you remember? Must have been like, I don't know, at least a month ago. I know what it's like. You know, when you want to go to Poundland and you're like, I need X cleaning products. I need these rubbish decorations that are going to fall apart within a week. But oh well, it's Halloween in like seven days. So I need them from Poundland. But you just can't be bothered to go. Do you know what I mean? You had a long day at work or you haven't had a long day at work. You just literally CBA. Don't worry, boo, that's why you got me, right? You have a friend in me, a friend in need is a friend indeed. You just sit on the sofa. Don't worry about me. Sit on the sofa, boo, get your cup of tea. Get the chocolate digestives out. You already know. Hope everyone has a biscuit tin at this time of year. If not, <laughs> you need to go to Poundland. Right, boo, you just sit back. I'll do all the hard work for us. <laughs> but you owe me. Yeah, like I said, I haven't been to Poundland in a while. Um, and I just thought today it would be a really fun video to bring you guys along with me. Because usually, as we all know, I do only do, like, hauls. Mm -mm, not today, boo. I'm just putting it out there. I'm hoping to the universe is gonna manifest this for me. Poundland's gonna be sick today. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna think. Poundland is gonna be fab. But no boo, if we have a great time Poundland, I might take you to B&M and Wilco's. We might even get McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> Stop. Welcome to the Shires. Thank you, Angel. Not exactly Westfields, but um, I'll take it. If anybody has like a rubbish shopping center in their area, this is mine. You get the vibe, do you know what I mean? Poundland, I mean, don't get me wrong, boo. I love it, Poundland. This is just the place they've got like Boswell's Cafe. Um, it's usually quite empty, but today, the damn vlogging, it's actually very busy, lucky me. Here we go, yo. OMG, I can see some faux flowers right there. Hey, boo, you know I was coming. Listen, boo, I don't come to Poundland to play around. We get a rolly basket. Handbag goes in, no faffing. Thank you very much. Yeah. OMG, is it Halloween or is it Christmas? I just don't know. Okay, let's have a look. Lots of Halloween sweets, it looks like. Oh my goodness. Sorry, right, listen. We all have to agree, these chocolates are potentially the best chocolates in the world. Like, I'm not just talking about the eyeballs. I mean, like, any just, like, rubbish like seasonal chocolates like this stuff do you know what i mean in the chocolate coins it's just fab cute hey boo haunted house party invite me um since when did they start doing flavored zero calorie monsters in poundland don't know boo but i'm getting one okay, i am just still down this first aisle and primark are already coming through with the halloween makeup fake blood fake blood spray okay Green and red makeup, black and white makeup, listen. Oh my god, even anime makeup, what? Glitter zip makeup, sorry. Have we all just become beauty gurus? Like, that is just crazy. No, sorry, we're not, we've just gone to Poundland. Mermaid makeup, wow, this is so cool. Okay, that's the first aisle completed. I just picked up a few toiletry bits. I am gonna do um, like a haul when I get home so you guys can see what I've got. Oh my God, I didn't know they did these in here. That's so cool, oops. So I actually got sent one of these in like a PR package the other day um, and I didn't actually have any idea what it was for, not gonna lie. They are honestly so good just for cleansing your face at the end of the day. So I always take my makeup off with Missler water, like this sort of stuff, but I use the Garnier. And then I just use one of these um, to kind of like wipe over my face. And I'm just really, that's so cool that that's in Poundland. Okay, coming round to the next aisle. Let's see what we have. Oh, oh my God, guys. This is the pet aisle and I've literally not been down here since I had Herbie. And I remember going down this aisle every time I'll come into Poundland and I'll be like, just can't wait to get my own dog you know i know i have one hashtag dreams come true and then actually on the other side of the aisle we have the cleaning stuff so this really is ali darby's favorite aisle in Poundland right now oh my god i've literally just spent about five minutes just like smelling all of the different air sprays and stuff i love the new fragrance sprays and i'm so happy that they're finally coming in my favorite out of these two is mold wine i mean i do not need any more air fresheners but that one is just gorgeous. They also have Winter Wonderland. And I've picked up a couple more of these essential oils, which um, I'll show you guys in my haul. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. 
I actually can't believe I've just come across these. Gold dusts, wow. Oh, I'm just a sucker for chocolate. Halloween chocolate, Christmas chocolate, what can I say? Oh, wow, scary. Okay, obviously this is the seasonal aisle. Um, here we go, yo. Oh, wigs, okay. Okay, so they've got a couple of Christmas cards, but obviously the majority of it is Halloween stuff, seeing as Halloween is next week. To be fair, Poundland do always do some really great Halloween decorations. Like, you can't fault them, guys, sorry. Sorry, I know I am Panland's biggest fan, but I mean, come on, look at those masks. Is that not spooky to you? Oh my god, I remember seeing this one last year, and it was I actually got really scared. This is one of those like holographic things that can you guys see? <gasps> oh my god! Just normal people. Oh no, they're not. I think if you're throwing like a Halloween party for your friends and family, this would be a really good place to come and just get like really cheap decorations that you're probably gonna throw away or give away afterwards. Like this little tinsel, that's quite cool. Spider web, stickers. You know, booth go all out, come to Poundland. Oh, another thing they always do really, really good stuff of is stuff for like Christmas parties. So I remember last year I got loads of these serving tubs, obviously not with this decoration on, but I do really love that. I think that's really nice. Cute little gray, blue theme. I'm really excited to see the stuff they bring out this year for Christmas parties because we already know, boo, I'm of course hosting one. Okay, let's go down this aisle. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Party light. That is actually so cool. That'll be a great little light to have when you host your party. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. I do always love the gift bags and everything in Poundland. I just think, like... People need to stop underestimating it, do you know what I mean? My manifestation worked, Poundland is really sick. Stationary time, come on then hun, what you got for me today? Love your life, thank you, I do. The planner, that's cool. I did actually get a really cool weekly planner from here um, a couple of months ago, I wonder if they still do it. So I haven't seen the exact weekly planner that I got last time, but they do do loads of really cute diaries. I found this one, um, and then they also have ones like this it's the little things in life that one's quite cute they've got ones like this and then obviously the pastel highlighter pens which i do not need any more of i already have about 10 of these but you know what oh my god no way i've seen chunky highlighters and they are pastel color oh my goodness how nice and finally heading down the kitchen and food aisle let's see what they have today for us ladies and gents oh look that's just adorable isn't it and then look at all of these pink accessories just might have to do it for a baking video guys do you know what i mean <laughs> okay angels the fun doesn't stop there um we've got a front row seat everybody to the greatest show of all time can you spot it there she is hello b and don't say i don't spoil you um not being funny we're out and about poundland and b and just go together like minnie and mickey like ellie and connor so um, to be honest this isn't going to be a really big trip to B&M I just thought I would bring you guys around with me because I did just want to pop in quickly haven't been in a week have no draw symptoms I miss B&M okay this is also going to be a triumph for me if um we do only end up going in B&M there is also a home bargains right there and also a Matadan and there is also a TK Maxx over there but to be fair that is on the other side of the of the industrial park so you know that would have to require me to do a lot of walking to get there probably about maybe 150 steps and you know we have already been to poundland so i just need to keep finding excuses not to go into tk maxx basically and then hopefully that's gonna be it i mean if you guys do want to see like a big come shopping with me to bnm matalan tk maxx video i think that'd be really fun so leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up but for now i'm just gonna head into bnm it's gonna stay that way and then we'll go home and I can show you guys everything I got. But I did get a lot from Poundland. And I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot from B&M. I'm going to put that out into the universe as well, even though I really don't need to. Who's ready to party? Me. Bye, Wilma. Me and the girls are going out. Honey, I'm home. Hope you've missed me. See, there's TK Maxx all the way over there. Hashtag effort. <gasps> Sorry, but there ain't no christmas decks like b&m christmas decks look at these oh my goodness okay i'm definitely coming here for my decks right came here last year coming here again this year i'm trying my hardest to skip past all these biscuits on my left oh no what are they <gasps> mississippi mud pie cookies ellie oh my new york cheesecake stop it <sighs> 
me when concerts. I can't have any more biscuits today. Oh look, this is all cute. Cake decorations, you got some Halloween ones, Christmas ones. You know what, actually, sorry, but I do need some more marshmallows for my hot chocolate. So thank you very much, Betty Winters, for coming through the marshmallows. Oh, look at that Nutella jar. Oh, this is just the best aisle in the world, guys. Like, I can't even lie. Don't even mention me. It really is, okay? When it gets really close to Christmas, they have some really, like, amazing basically is the only way to describe it christmas chocolates like i actually can't cope i like i actually just drag myself away from this aisle why am i so obsessed with food it gets me every day also this did actually really make me laugh but i've been getting a few questions what drink it is when me and con come to bnm and we always get this drink here it's the mousse juice berry flavor it's really really yummy obviously you know my heart kind of stays with monster um but you could be a bit of uh mousse juice Vimto fizzy. Oh. oh my god, stop it seriously. Sorry, but I've had to get a basket. Oh, we're about to dive in like Trey Songs does. Okay, no, not quite like Trey Songs, but you know, I've had to get a basket, so things are getting heavy. Just been down the cushions and throw aisle, and I don't need anything. Just wanted to show you guys that throw. How gorgeous is that? They do it in like um like a stone colour and a purple colour as well, but I love the grey. I think that's so nice. Oh, Pigs and blankets crisps, turkey and stuffing crisps. Sorry, what? Okay, everybody, it is fully here. This is the Christmas aisle in B and M, and I am living for it. Look at all. Oh my! I actually can't even cope. Look at all these chocolate biscuits. Listen, oh, they've even got the Cadbury's chocolate biscuit selection in the tin. Oh my gosh! I just think like Christmas is a time for biscuit lovers to unite. Do you know what I mean? No matter the differences in life, no matter what you're going through, if you love biscuits, just let's all come together this Christmas. Oh Christ. <gasps> A chocolate dipping set. Oh, everyone knows what to get me for Christmas. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you really think my collection's complete? It really is the most wonderful time of the year, everybody. I am feeling very merry right now. Oh, wow. I said to myself I wouldn't buy like any Christmas decorations before at least November but I just can't help but fall in love with those how nice are they and those ones wow they're just stunning I do need to officially decide what my colour scheme is going to be for my um, Christmas tree this year before I actually do waste any money waste who do I think I am it would never be wasting money on Christmas decorations but I do need to decide what colour I want my tree in my living room before I obviously buy decorations. I do think I'm going to be having another tree upstairs, probably in my filming room or in my office. And I think that's going to be like really girly and pink and white and glittery. Downstairs, I am thinking of going for like red, green. Oh, I just caught, I just heard myself speaking. I'm really speaking about Christmas right now. Can I just add though, you know, before we actually do make it out of B&M and we're no longer surrounded by Christmas things. Last night, I was up till like midnight planning all of my, um, Christmas content and my Vlogmas content and everything. Oh, by the way, I am looking for a um, Vlogmas intro designer to work with me to design an intro for my Vlogmas stuff. So if anybody knows anything, then please holler at a gal. But yeah, I was planning all my Christmas content last night and I literally like, guys, I'm so excited. Yes, boo, okay, let me just relax. I'm gonna sip my tea. I haven't got a cup of tea by now at this point in the video, like, honey, come on. On. Proud to say I've already eaten the chocolate biscuits. Um, you know, don't judge me. Two down the hatch. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, I thought it would be fun for this part of the video just to go through um, the things I picked up in Poundland and B&M. I did have to drive myself away from TK Maxx and Home Bargains and Matalan. I didn't go in there. You'll all be proud of me. Um, you know, I'm trying to be the bigger person. I'm trying to practice self-restraint and self-discipline and I kind of feel like it's working. First of all, I'm going to show you the stuff I got in Poundland because I got a lot actually like I spent about 25 pounds in Poundland and I got about 25 things so hey ho here we go first of all I'll go through the stuff I got for cleaning Poundland and Wilkinson's and Home Bargains are really my favorite places to get all the stuff for cleaning the house um in a couple of weeks time I'm actually going to be doing a speed cleaning video so I'm really excited to show you guys um everything I usually use but I just picked up a few essentials that I've run out of at the moment so first of all I got some more wipes um I use these ones for the floor in the kitchen obviously Herbie brings in like loads of mud and grass and everything from the garden although it doesn't matter because he's so adorbs and you know I can never tell him off I did actually pick up a a 
spray mop from B&M like a couple of weeks ago and I've only just started to use it and I really really like it but obviously that is only a mop and so if there's any like hard things in the kitchen that isn't just like a stain on the floor you know what I mean the mop isn't going to get it but it's just going to move it around so I like to use the floor wipes to kind of just pick up any excess dirt that the mop can't remove and also just picked up three packs of the sif power and shine multi-purpose wipes i use these in the bathroom we have three bathrooms so i'm just going to keep a um pack of these in each one i also picked up a new oven cleaner because our oven is well due for a clean i've um made a lot of lasagnas recently and i'm proud to say that they have actually spilled over the top because they're just so juicy and cheesy and hashtag delicious but you know I am still a hygienic person. I do still want a nice clean oven. So I got this one. I finally picked up a dishmatic from Poundland and I also got a couple of um, heads as well. So I've been putting this off for ages. Like I first obviously saw these on Mrs. Hinch's stories and I was like, oh, that looks quite cool. And I know my sister had one, but I just had so many sponges to get through first. I was like, no, 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 I'll use all my sponges first and then I can buy a dishmatic. And we finally got to that point, boys and girls. Ali Darby has got a dishmatic. Oh my goodness. I mean, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what this is, you basically put fairy liquid in there and then it kind of squeezes out um boring but i got some new rubber gloves uh that's all i'm really gonna say on that also quite boring but i picked up some toiletries because obviously if you go into poundland don't you know you need to restock on basically everything you already have the max fresh colgate toothpaste and then i also just got the dove shampoo and conditioner dove is a great brand and i think it's seriously underrated like dove just reminds me of being pampered at my at my grandma's house like when i was little she always used to has, have the um dove or nivea bits in there and i just i don't know i think it's like a really homely smell next things i got oil warmers or the essential oil kind of spray things i picked up one of these from bnm and it was the warm cinnamon scent i want to say and i got it from bnm like two weeks ago absolutely love them and can i just say we currently have it in the dining room because it's not really um very good to have with the pets around so i obviously only have it in rooms where herbie is not likely to be and he never goes in the dining room like we always have the door shut to that room so the um oil warmer is currently in that room and i have the warm cinnamon scent and literally anybody that we ever have around for dinner and then we go into the dining room to have our um food they always compliment how nice that room smells and I have to agree, not gonna lie. But I picked up some more, I just got another oil warmer and then um, I picked up two scents. I just picked up this festive pine one, hashtag spread the joy. And then I also got this linen in the air one, which um, I think I'm gonna just be putting in probably one of the bathrooms. I mean, festive scent and a fresh scent, you can't really go wrong. Next thing I picked up was this massive washing up bowl just to pop in the sink um, because I'm sick of cleaning the sink, doing like a massive deep clean for my sink twice a day basically okay maybe not that much but you know what i mean like it's a lot cleaning the sink all the time but um getting a washing up bowl would probably really help with having to clean the sink all the time Quick tea break one sec mm. by the way how nice is my mug sorry from home sense <laughs> you probably already know that because you've already watched my weekend vlog right also from poundland i obviously picked up a monster energy violet drink i'm gonna lie guys this one tastes like like sweets, like Skittles, that's how it tastes. I remember having this for the first time in Orlando. And, um, oh my God, like we were walking around Universal and I was just absolutely blown away by how nice that tasted. So yeah, that's my memory with, with monster drinks. And then the last two things I picked up from Poundland, I would say are my favorite of the entire haul. And I know you guys are probably gonna love them as well. I don't actually even know what to start with. Okay, I'll start with this one. First of all, I picked up this. This is like a, obviously a uh, file just for documents and notepads and stuff. So I already have one which is very similar to this which i picked up from sainsbury's last year um, and at the moment i literally shove everything in there and i have a lot of paperwork just like really important documents and then i also put all my notebooks in there as well at the moment so my my one at the moment is like this so my plan is to just move all of my big heavy notebooks into this one so the other one can obviously still have just like the single sheets and invoices and stuff in there and then finally i picked up these two okay these are the two, I would say, most Christmassy things I got in this haul. I don't even know, like, why I held back so much in this haul, but I could have gone so hard with the Christmas stuff. Like, I literally... I just don't want to peek too early. Do you know what I mean? But I couldn't hold back on these. So these remind me of Christmas, first of all, because this is a gingerbread bath bomb, um, and it was in Poundland, and I was very blown away by that. They also had a coconut snowman, and they also had a vanilla polar bear i think that's what it was but i obviously picked up the gingerbread because i feel like that's the most autumny kind of scent don't know 
how I'm going to feel about a bath bomb from Poundland. I mean, over there I do have my massive bag of everything I picked up from Lush like a couple of weeks ago. But, it, you know, I'm a Poundland lover boo, I'm not going to discriminate. Then I got these metallic markers and not being funny, but I looked at those, gold, silver, and then it's like a brown coppery kind of colour. And I just thought they'd be so nice for when I wrap my Christmas presents and write my Christmas cards, don't you think? Don't you think they're like really nice colours? It's better than a black biro, am I right? Okay, moving on to the bits I picked up in b and I didn't get loads in B&M, but I did get, you know, some pretty sick stuff, not gonna lie. Obviously, I picked up some marshmallows. Um, You guys saw this when I was vlogging in B&M. Every night at the moment, I don't know what it is, guys, but I'm going through a serious hot chocolate phase. And I'm talking like, literally, I have like a decadent hot chocolate every single night at the moment. I, um, I mean, it started as a one night fling. You know, one night, I think I was watching X Factor and I was just like, gonna have a hot shock and now it's the real thing not just a one night fling i have it every night so i'd run out of marshmallows so i pick some up i mean though whipped cream doesn't come without marshmallows i'm sorry do you know what i mean okay then i also oh the, yeah this is quite interesting i picked up um some new rope tie backs for the curtains in the living room they are quite heavy they're the dkmy velvet like champagne kind of colored ones which i picked up in home sense and they're absolutely gorgeous but they are really heavy and because they are kind of like put on the pole on its own kind of not with any of the um eyelet things or anything they're kind of hard to move around and i don't mind that like i like the look but it's just always dark in there because the curtains are always kind of shut even when they're open do you know what i mean so i just thought i would get these and see how they kind of add to the room i suppose they're only 3.99 for a two pack um review coming soon <laughs> hey best part of the haul i mean did ellie darby actually even go to bnn if she didn't pick up Three new packs of Sephora because when Ellie Darby goes out, Ellie Darby goes out. Boo. Do you know what I mean, Angel Girl? Yes, you do. So, okay, I've already got like three bottles of these two anyway, but you know, I couldn't just get cranberry and orange on its own. That would just be rude. So I picked up all three because you got to have the whole collection. Um, winter Zephora. Completed it, mate. Warm cinnamon, winter spice, cranberry and orange. Can't wait for my house to smell like a pure Santa's grotto basically next i picked up some vinto fizzy zero not seen this in bnm within the last couple of weeks saw it today had to come home with me i'm just a sucker for a fizzy drink honestly like i've seen that they've been doing the vinto crispy creams in tesco's do you know what i mean crazy well not just in tesco's i mean a lot more places other than tesco stocks crispy creams but you know what i mean there's the whole vimto range now at the moment you need to try then i also got connor a protein bar this is actually his favorite protein bar that like you can ever get anywhere like doesn't matter do you know what i mean if my boy wants to support bnm through protein bars i am not gonna complain the last thing in the haul that i'm gonna show you guys is this very random but i got some new cutlery 24 piece stainless steel cutlery set it was only 5.99 and the main reason i actually got this was because in our dining room, I want to have my table constantly laid. So I always want cutlery on there. I always want plates. Like I'm going to get a really nice new set of plates and everything. Kind of in the run up to Christmas, you know. I just need to keep, you know, peeking in and making sure that's how I want it for Christmas. Oh, need to change the runner. Oh, maybe I should change the cutlery. Cutlery is expensive, okay. I was in TK Maxx the other day and this amount of um, cutlery, I guess, were literally like 50 quid. And I was like... Oh, and what is a knife and fork? I'm not sure if these are like glam enough to have as my Christmas cutlery or just to be laid out on the dining table, but I do think they look quite nice. If I decide that they don't, uh, I mean, they're only 5 99 and we need a new cutlery anyway. Like all of our cutlery is kind of just falling apart and we've lost half of it. So I don't know, what do you think? Is that nice cutlery for the dining table? Leave a comment. Mm, I don't know. I guess it's not too bad. Well, there you go. I never thought I'd see the day where Ellie Darby was actually being fussy over knives, forks, and spoons for the dining table. Okay, angels, that is everything I've picked up today in B&M and Poundland. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, listen, I am very, very, very excited for to be November, basically. I'm not really a Halloween kind of gal. I'm definitely an autumn person, but Halloween is just not really my vibe. I think it's because I kind of go into hibernation before one fire night and Christmas. And I just come out. I'm alive like that. I'm like, yeah, November the 1st, hello. 
everybody. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos as Christmas um, approaches us. And I hope you guys are looking forward to them. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it really helps support my channel, Angels. And I love you guys so much. We have a lot of really exciting videos coming up soon that I think you guys are going to love. Like, <laughs> the stuff I have in this room that I'm hiding from you at the moment. You guys don't even want to know. Well, you, obviously you do want to know, but... <laughs> Seriously. I'm just really feeling good about creating content and uploading right now and I just feel very happy and I hope you guys are enjoying what you see when you come to my channel. Love you guys so much. You guys are the best friends in the entire world and I hope everyone is having a fabulous end of your October. Let's all get ready to sing our Michael Bublé hearts out. Let's all get ready to sing Slade. Oh my god, I stop it because I've got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on my arm. Head right now. Hey guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!